Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. I sure do appreciate y'all tuning back in, liking and subscribing. I appreciate all that. I really do enjoy it. I enjoy making these for y'all. Just sitting here, kind of a rainy day. I ain't got no whole lot going on in the field and too, too old bad weather to fish. I really just don't feel like going out and fishing today in the weather. But um, I was sitting here drinking my coffee and I got to thinking, I made a video, I'm going to start a little live scope th series. And I made a video last week, you know, about placement and all that. I guess I kind of put the cart in front of the horse. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on live scope. Here's what I think about it. I know there's a lot of haters. And I mean a lot. There's there's a lot of folks that don't like it. They say it's cheating. They say you're going to ruin the fishery. You're going to just decimate all the population of crappie, bass, whatever you go fishing for. Within three years, ain't going to be nothing in the lake. We're going to have to just drain the lake and put a cotton patch in there. That's all you can do because ain't going to be no fish. I don't believe that at all, not even for the least bit. I don't believe that we're going to kill the population. Number one, a limit's a limit. You can only catch your limit, and that's it. You can't catch no more. I know there's people that break the rules, but a limit's a limit, no matter if you catch them in 30 minutes or four hours. It don't matter. A limit's a limit. That's number one. But anyway, that's besides the point. I think it's helping the fishery, and here's why. I think now the people that know how to run the live scope, they can go out and catch them eight or ten or a dozen, whatever they need. If they're going to have them a little family fish fry, catch them, clean them, put them in some hot grease, and eat them right then. They ain't got to freeze them. They ain't got to go catch 300 and freeze and put in a freezer because they know they can go back and whenever they need a few more, they can go back and get them 10 or 12 more and eat them fresh. They ain't got to keep putting them in a freezer. Not saying they ain't. I might, I've got, uh, I might have two or three bags in a freezer just where... The fish, matter of fact, they're just, they was big fish and they was more than we could eat. So I throw them in the freezer, you know, for hard times. But for the biggest part, people just go and get them 10 or 12 because they know they can go back and catch them 10 or 12 more. And on the other side of that too, as far as the big fish go, I love catching them with biggins. I love catching them biggins. Most time I'll let them biggins go. I do. But here's my thoughts on that. A big crappie is a lot like a big mature buck. That's what everybody's looking for. Are you looking for the big ones? You're looking for them two pound plus fish. Now four pound plus. Where's it gonna stop? Five? We don't know. Just had a bunch of four pounders at Grenada caught. It was lighting them up, son. But anyway, the big fish are a lot like old mature bucks. Like, uh, you know, big elk. Monster bucks, big elk, big whatever. You know, a big old tom, big turkey. It's just like your mature the bigger fish is the, like your mature bucks. Y'all know what I'm getting at. But anyway, I think you they're slicker, they're harder to find, they're a trophy to catch. And a, the average lifespan of a, of a crappie is four to six years. So that crappie, just say uh, anything over two pounds, I'm just saying, for instance, I don't know, these ain't 100% facts, but I'm going to say it's probably four or five years old. Well, this done had all four or five years of spawning, hundreds of thousands, probably millions of eggs this done released. And I'm, I'm cool with letting them big girls go. I'll let them go. I don't think it's just the end of the world if you keep them. I really don't. And the reason I believe that is if you catch, just say, a three-pound fish. I've got one on my wall. If you catch a three-pound fish, chances are it's toward the end of its life cycle. I understand throwing them back. She got a big old, she got a lot bigger egg sack. I understand she can hold more eggs. But it just seems to me that they're at the end of the life cycle, kind of like old mature buck. He's kind of toward the end of his life cycle. You know how they'll start going down after a while. Your younger fish, your little 8, 10, 12 inch fish, they just go all over the place. They happy to be here. They'll spawn and rip and snort and cut up. And they just, they're more rejuvenated, I guess you'd say. They're more lively. Them's the ones you're going to keep on hammering. Well, if all these people go get them 8 or 10, and then they're looking for the big fish. Well, you're going to have a big class of fish in there. You know, you smaller, younger fish that are constantly reproducing, spawning, spawning, spawning. Within two years, you know, a year, whatever, they'll spawn again. So you just keep getting more and more and more fish. That's why I don't think that live scope is hurting the population. I think the people are going out that's got the live scope. They'll catch them 8 or 10 or 12 or 15, whatever it takes to have a little fish fry. Then they'll go back and they'll cook them. While they get some ready for some more, they'll run out yonder and get them some more. And the big fish fishermen, they'll go out there. They're hunting the mature ones. They want the big ones. They'll throw back. It ain't. I throw back 
a, not a million, I throw back thousands of times more fish since I've had LiveScope than I ever did spider rigging, trolling, pulling crankbaits. And the reason why, I wasn't as confident when I was doing that that I could go get some on an exact day. I wasn't that confident that I could go say, okay, I can only go on Thursday of next week. I can go catch me five or six, seven, or eight, eight, ten. I wasn't that confident as I am now because they move. I can't see them. I don't know that they're not there. Now with LiveScope, not being conceited or nothing, but for the most part, if the weather's permitting, I can go catch up enough fish to have a little fish fry just about any given day, and that's all I want. I pitch back what I don't need. Number one, I'm lazy. I don't like cleaning all them things now that I ain't got to have them. So I think that's, it's just helping the population. I think you're going to see the populations increase because there's more smaller fish. They're throwing back more and more fish than we was ever before. Now you've got a lot of your live scope fishermen that used to keep limits, not keeping limits because they don't have to anymore. And all these big fishermen, hey, throw them back. Uh, that's cool. Let them big girls go. If you want to keep them, I ain't mad at you about that neither because I understand it's like a big old mature buck or a mature elk. They're getting toward the end of their life cycle. Now, I know they got a bigger egg sac, and I know it's good genetics, but chances are the genetics are already in the system. So if you want to keep a big one, I ain't mad at you. Throw them back. That's perfect, too. And all them boys down there in Grenada, old Patrick Stone, and um, crap, it's a bunch of them down there tagging them. Carlos, it's a bunch of them guys down there that are tagging these fish, and they ain't necessarily tagging the biggest one. They'll tag a two-pounder just to see the movement and, you know, the age, how far. And that's a big thing that they're doing, and that's great. It's awesome for the fishery. But as far as the live scope goes, I, I think it's helping. I think it's helping the fishery. I think it's helping the population. I think it's helping fishing as a whole, crappie, bass, everything. You're not keeping as many as often. You're mostly looking for the bigger fish. You're throwing back more than you ever did before. I think it's helping. I know there's a lot of hater. And y'all, hey, holler at me down there in them comments. Let me know. What do y'all think? Y'all think it's helping? You think it's hurting? I'm interested to know what everybody else's opinion are. It's not just my opinions are like armpits. Everybody got a couple. Some of them stink. But, uh, man, I sure would appreciate it. And y'all, like I said, y'all let me know what y'all think. If you ain't already, hit that old uh, like and subscribe, that little bell down there. And every time I put one of these up, you'll know when it comes. I sure do thank you for that if y'all do that and follow me on my other stuff, the old TikTok and all that other jazz. Got that going. But uh, we'll see y'all next week. We're going to keep this live scope thing going. Hey, y'all keep snatching on them now.